Hey, this is Steven from Legit Mobile, and today I'm going to review the screen protector, the Skonomi screen protector. Uh, this is for the Tegra Note 7, but I guess this could be um, assumed for most of their products. Uh, so I think it's a very good screen protector, so what are we going to go over here? Um, as you see, I have two here. So uh, let's just get this out of the way first. Uh, it, I didn't get it right the first time, um, and I'll give you tips on how to install it correctly. And I'll also have a video of me installing it up to the part where I messed up. So, uh, yes. So, I wanted to confirm that this is a good company. They do, um, they do, uh, let me make sure these are okay. They do, um, take their lifetime warranty very personal. They did send me a second one, no questions asked. I told them I got dirt and other debris under the screen protector and they immediately sent me another one and I got it within a day and had that one installed the very next day so uh, very very good um, very very good quality and I'll show you guys a close-up so let's go ahead and get started of uh, the Skonomi screen protector review alright let's get going alright so we are back we are now taking a look at the Skonomi uh, screen protectors here so um, of course, the what's included inside the box is a uh, little screen wipe. The uh, solution, the application solution, is what you use to spray on your hands and stuff in order to uh, make sure that the um, that the that the material that the screen protector actually sticks to um, you know your your actually well allows it to slip and slide instead of sticking. And once it dries and you sweep all of the solution out. It will dry to this. It will dry to the um, screen of your tablet, and also if you spray it on your fingers, it won't stick to your fingers, so you could uh, touch it and this and that. So, but what you are going to need is you are going to need a card to um, to apply it, and basically what you do is you just get your card like this, and uh, you fold it inside your uh, screen protect inside your uh, screen wipe like this, and you apply it on. The solution does kind of mess up the, this uh, screen wipe. The screen wipe did come with uh, it was a microfiber cloth. This microfiber cloth did come with the second one, so I didn't use it on the screen. I used the first one, so now I got a nice good screen wipe uh, remaining. So yeah, the solution here, and this is, this is the bag that the screen protector came in. And of course, a very good quality box. I mean, nothing's going to get damaged, of course, on the way over here. And it talks about the uh, the lifetime warranty. This is the uh, the tech skin. If you could see there, tech skin, and it says all the stuff that's included. Mine was a single piece. There are some that have multiple pieces, and it was uh, very very easy to apply. So yeah, let's go ahead and move these guys out of the way and bring up the tablet. So here you can see that it is very, very, very good application and probably very, very hard to even see any of it. It does have a little bit of orange peel. Let's see if you could see it maybe and looking at the ceiling. It does have a little bit of orange peel and as you see here, uh, it is. it was a little long cut on this. I did get a little bit missing here. So there's a couple imperfections. I just used my finger here to, to get this flat. And uh, it's eventually, it eventually started sitting pretty flat. But as you see, not very many bubbles. Now if you want to check your tablet for any bubbles, use a backlight such as this. And you can see the big main imperfection there is that I got a hair stuck underneath the tablet there. I'm pretty sure you can see that. But I did get one hair stuck in, um, in between the, uh, the protector and the tablet screen as well as some tiny imperfection bubbles here but that's mainly it now one thing to note with this screen protector it does apply very well but make sure that you don't hit it with any hard edges you notice here right there I don't know if you can see it because the backlight let me go ahead and turn off the backlight so I don't know if you can see that there but that's just from my finger scratching on it right there and it trying to get some hard sticky stuff off and it just kind of wrinkled it wrinkled the screen protector right there so you need to watch out when you uh, use your fingernail or anything 
So try to be very careful when you have something stuck. Try to stay away from using your fingernail to take any goop or anything off of your screen because you can crease it. You'd basically just um, you would just compress the uh, the screen protector in that area and stretch it out, and you'll it'll see look as an imperfection. So as you saw there, uh, I had just a little hair in there. Um, not too bad, uh, just like maybe one bubble, but overall very very good for the uh, for the screen protector. And let me go ahead and jump into a, another app, or actually just the the home screen. So here's the home screen. You can see that very very good quality. I mean, it's basically like it says, pretty much crystal clear. The only time you're gonna be able to see anything is if you have uh, it off and you're looking at it, you'll see a little bit of orange peel, you know, that kind of bumpy terrain because it's not perfectly flat. But it doesn't have, as you see, it doesn't have any prism effects on, on the screen. Stuff, uh, you know, light prism effects to where it kind of distorts the image out and it's kind of got a fuzzy halo around uh, some of the in images. It does not have that. It's basically crystal clear. So overall, very, very good quality. Um, very easy installation, which I'll show you right. At, I'll have a clip of that installation video right after this uh, segment, and then we'll move on to the conclusion. So go ahead and check out that installation video, and I'll probably do some voiceover over that, and uh, you know, give you some tips on installing it and what I've noticed from installing it, etc., etc. All right, so I'll see you guys after that segment. We'll jump into the conclusion. All right, let's go. And uh, there's a couple things that I did wrong that I want to uh, point out uh, very, very quickly. Um, you don't see where I messed this up because I stopped. So you basically want to do everything in between here. And, uh, and I'll explain what I did wrong um, on this first screen protector here in a second. So basically, as you see here, you want to spray onto your fingers um, the, uh, the mist to allow your fingers to slide. And then you want to mix your fingers. To allow the screen protector not to slip and then basically what you're going to do is take that sheet out that sheet contains the screen protector on it and the part that is down on the paper is the sticky side so then what you're going to want to do is spray the mist onto both sides so i sprayed it onto that side and then i'm going to pull it off and spray it onto the other side and you see there, I have an application card, the Stubbs card there, just a card that I found that is no good no more. So then you're going to want to spray on the back side. And you also want to have that, that uh, microfiber cloth handy and ready to go. And there, of course, I'm pointing out that you see that it's got the two cutouts. Of course, the two cutouts go towards the camera and the light sensor. So then you're going to want to apply it and get as close as possible to uh, where you want to be. And as long as it's still wet, it will slide. Now, you could also, if, you, if it's starting to dry, you could pick it up and spray it. But once you have it down and it's starting to stick, and let's say you take a break and go to lunch, you're like, oh, no, there's bubbles. Do not, do not pick it back up. That was my biggest mistake. You see those bubbles there? Most of those will come out when you start scrubbing that stubs card across and then there you see that it is lining up pretty good and we're getting a pretty good uh, fitment there so I give the go ahead so this is the part that I do wrong what you want to do is you want to have that stubs card inside the cloth at all times otherwise whatever card it is will scratch the screen protector so keep it inside inside like this I eventually take it out which is not a good idea See, I take it out. Don't do that. Leave it how I just showed you. Leave it in there. And also, you want to try to push it away, which I didn't do again. You want to try to push it away from any sort of inlet. You see those speaker holes? Don't be dragging those towards this. Don't be dragging the liquid towards the speaker holes. Drag it off to the side, away from any cracks or crevices, to where the liquid could get inside the device and possibly ruin your device. Because Konomi will not you know, will not cover that. So don't do this. Don't don't use the card by itself. It will scratch. So use uh, the card. Fold it inside the screen protector as you saw uh, originally. And 
and do it both ways like this but like I said with the card still inside and you will basically get to where you want to go very very quickly and then leave it um, leave let it dry for a while uh, preferably what I did is I let my device run out of batteries so that I won't have any problem with it and then wait a while um, wait like maybe four hours or five hours till it, it looks dry and then start to charge up your device and eventually turn it on to try to prevent any liquid that possibly got inside the device from ruining your device when you power it up. And then yeah, go over it with a cloth, clean all the liquid off, try to, try to pick up all the excess liquid. And you want to do that as well is that if you scrape it to the side, you know, take a second and use a cloth, use that, that cloth to pick up all the liquid off the side so you don't get it in there. And you see that there's a couple bubbles, but those bubbles would have gone away um, if I uh, let it be. So basically, let me explain what my error was. I basically um, let it, I later took it off and caused a problem. I later took it off because I saw the bubbles and I freaked out, but do not take it off. Once it's applied like this and it starts to dry, leave it be, let it go, and just um, wait for it to dry. And see those those bubbles that you're seeing there? Those will disappear within the that amount of time. All right, so back to the video. All right, so on to the conclusion of this Konomi screen protector. Overall, very, very good. And uh, they do um, honor their lifetime warranty. I also talked to uh, one of the people on the phone, and they said that if you did have any imperfection under the screen, you can take it off and reapply it. But I found that from my first one, that taking it off and reapplying it does kind of um, make it a little less sticky. It's not too sticky anymore. So that would be your last resort. So uh, you probably got some tips during the, uh, during the review. I mean, during the, the installation video, which I had a voiceover. So, uh, you basically heard everything. And also, I forgot to mention that inside each of these boxes has got a little bit of parchment talking about, you know, installation tips, this and that. Um, yeah, installation instructions and where to go online to find a video. But, of course, you just saw a video right now of how to install it in the review. Yeah, so a company that uh, takes pride in their product and does have a... Um, uh, a limited lifetime warranty and uh, I called them you know after I messed up the very first one and they sent me another one made sure that I did it right on this did exactly how the instructions said all the bubbles disappeared between two to five days and everything's good and as you see it's pretty much perfect besides of course you know this side that's the only way you could tell if there's a screen protector on and of course where uh, it overlaps where it's got to cut out for the uh, camera and uh, the light sensor yeah, very, very good uh, screen protector. We'll see how it holds up over time. I've had it on there for about uh, maybe two weeks now, and it's held up very good. But like I said, watch out for those uh, sharp edges um, or, or like pressing too hard on it. You know, stretching out the screen protector is a problem. So it you also, I mean, it's a screen protector, but it's there to protect the screen. It's not there to, um, you know, never get the screen protector scratched or anything like that. The screen protector is designed to take the scratches. So still do as much as you can to protect it from general wear and tear on that on that screen protector itself to extend the, the the lifetime of it. And then if you ever run out, you have the limited lifetime warranty to fall back on it to uh, get a replacement as long as you have the tablet. All right, so I give it a thumbs up and I'd like to thank you for watching this video. It's Gnome Screen Protector. I think I got it for about 12 bucks for this particular tag, tablet, the Tegra Note 7. And uh, overall, very, very impressed with it, and uh, as well as with the company. So if you like this video, please subscribe for more videos like it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like my videos, um, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.